In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po at welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men who knows what pertains to the man, except, except his spirit that is within. Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God, except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them, not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord, so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Please stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. And God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power, he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today's Gospel expresses the fulfillment of God's mission to us. At ano po yung mission na yun? To free us from all evil. Yung evil po na tinutukoy sa Biblia, ito po yung mga naposes, yung mga masasamang spirito pumasok sa katawan. Pero sa atin po, nag-work po yung evil, yung demons. Minsan, sa mga hindi natin inaakalang pangyayari o hindi natin nararamdaman. Hindi lang po in a malignant way, yung, yung nakikita natin sa mga movie na nangingisay-ngisay. Kahit po minsan sa mga daily decisions natin, andyan po yung demonyo nagbubulong, nagumawa po tayo ng mali, nagumawa po tayo ng mga kasalanan. Trabaho po ng demonyo ang hatakin tayo para na gumawa ng masama. Kasi po, yun din po yung mission nila. At sa kabilang dako po, ang kabutihan, ang angels, God, sila naman po yung hinahatak naman tayo, protektahan against evil. Ang nakakatakot lang po, to make it worst, minsan-minsan din, we become comfortable, complacent, hinahayaan na lang po natin na kunyari, may nangyaring, may mangyayaring hindi maganda, may mali tayong desisyon para sa atin, wala na lang yun. Kasalanan man yun. Laging complacent na tayo. Hinayaan na nating manalo yung demonyo. Hinayaan na nating sumaya ang mga demonyo. Yes, panalo tayo. Ginawa niya yung mali. Ginawa niya yung kasalanan. We don't bother to fight anymore, to do against evil. Minsan kasi, yung hatak ng demonyo mas masaya, mas madali. Doon na lang tayo. Pero dahil po alam ng Diyos na may hihina tayo, kaya nga po naging misyon ng Diyos na pumunta dito para tayo iligtas sapagat mas malakas po ang demonyo kumpara po sa atin. But bago po tayo matulungan ng Panginoon, we have first to acknowledge our weaknesses that we are weak and that we are sinful. Kasi po, mahirap pong hindi natin alam na mali po yung ginagawa natin. After we got we ask God's help. Yun po, 
mas madali na po tayong matulungan ng Panginoon. At mas magiging madali na pong i-fulfill ng Panginoon yung kanyang misyon sa bawat buhay natin. Naway sa ating panalangin, explicitly hilingin po tayo, hihilingin natin sa Panginoon na tulungan tayong gumawa at piliin kung ano yung tama sa lahat po ng ating mga desisyon sa buhay. Let us all stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. In every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life, so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their bodily or spiritual afflictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we also pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, 
your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may bear it to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise you, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and born and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace be with you. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is the end. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-ingat po tayo sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Alalahanin na rin po natin yung mga mahal natin sa buhay na may sakit na wala po dito. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, feed them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakilabas na lang po kung meron kayong mga dala. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.